before Louis and Sylvia left, we said to them we would do two things. Climb that hill. And swim in that water. Okay. Oh, don't your face. Come on, do it right. It's time to sample local products. The biggest festival of the whole year. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Never look at your map. I thought we were farther up. We've only gone one turn. <laughs> Before Louis and Sylvia left, we said to them we would do two things. Climb that hill. And swim in that water. That hill doesn't look that big because we're almost at the top. <laughs> we were trying to find a spot with a good view of both. I was dreading this walk because I thought it was gonna be all stairs, but it turns out it's a nice path and we get to walk in the trees. It's beautiful up here. There's ancient walls, gravel paths. Definitely a great hike. Yes. The tree randomly decorated. So the tree looks like it was decorated, but not randomly. If you know the reason, please leave it in the comments. I must be looks like Kate's dragging a little bit. Go on for long, I was wrong. Every little bit counts. One foot in front of the other. Right at the top, almost. Not yet. The top! And in case you were like, oh, it's probably not that beautiful from up there. It really is. <laughs> well, Louie and Sylvia took off for Montenegro. They told us that we, they, we need to do two things before they left. One was to climb the mountain, Check. High five. And a high five. <laughs> and the second one was get in that water. That is coming up. It's gonna happen, but we are, we, we definitely, yeah. So cold water, yep. <laughs> but it's gonna happen. <laughs> you gotta talk yourselves in it. Besides, we've got a dare. They dared us. What are you, eight? The views off the top of this hill are amazing. If you come to Dubrovnik, climb the hill. Don't take the cable car. One, it's expensive, but the hike is not super difficult, but very enjoyable. We are gonna go down a different way. We're gonna go down the roadway. And that one, I thought, oh, that's gonna be great. But actually, I'm half tempted to go back down the way we came because it was that enjoyable. So, off we go. <laughs> that's my line. <laughs> oh, to the astute observer, you may notice Katie's got new sunglasses. Apparently I have an issue with travel days. Somehow between getting on the bus and getting here, I lost my sunglasses. Your Oakley Aviator polarized ones? Yes, those ones. Which ones did those replace? Uh, the ones I lost in Vietnam. <laughs> Well, I, what hell was that, four years ago? Yeah, probably, yeah. So, but I still feel bad because those were very comfortable. But now we have matching glasses again. Yeah. Oh, Where are they? Oh, I think they're talking about us. Oh, no way. Oh, no! 
And I am going to do the one thing when we get back on the bus to go back to split. I'm going to ask if they found any sunglasses. Right. We'll see. Sit down the hill. Okay. Oh, I'm going to turn this thing off. Oh, Lordy. E.T. Phone home. Kate's all excited for the Croatian cows. It's time to sample local products. Today I'm going to try Sky Cola from Bosnia. It tastes a lot like Coca-Cola, but not as sweet. That's not bad at all. What do you think? This is way better than some of the other colas we've tried. Remember that one in China with fiber in it? Oh, that was horrible. Oh God. I couldn't even take a couple sips and this, I could drink the whole thing and go get another one. Or the Sprite with the vitamins. I'm trying this for the first time in Singapore. Lemon and vitamin Coca-Cola. That is disgusting. Yes. <laughs> they were pretty bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs up. While we were in Singapore a few years ago, I discovered three-in-one coffee. Indo Cafe, three-in-one. Let's see how this goes. And I've been in love with it ever since. Agree to disagree, let's leave it at that. Let's agree to disagree. Here in Croatia, we have discovered they really love their coffee. Every year, the average American drinks two pounds of coffee. The average Croatian drinks 11 pounds. And it's no surprise I'm seeking out. Sucking out, seeking out. So it's no surprise I found a bunch of three in ones to try. First up is Jakob's. It's sweet, can't really taste a lot of the coffee in it, and it doesn't have an aftertaste, so that's good. Next is Nescafe Classic. You can really taste the sugar and the creamer in this one, but not much coffee. And finally, a brand I've never heard of, Arbesca. Here goes nothing. It has a burnt after flavor, but it's closer to the one, my favorite one from Indonesia. I'm gonna have to try them all over again just to see which one I like the best though. You're having way too much fun on this taste test. <laughs> well, you know, we still have a little bit left. The winner, I would say the brand new one. What now? I have three coffees to drink. I'll see you in an hour, dear. <laughs> Ooh, Game of Thrones stuff. Oh. Cannot believe how clear and beautiful this water is. This cat is like the guardian of the keep. We're up here getting these awesome shots of Dubrovnik, trying to get some pictures, and he keeps jumping all over me. <laughs> Which wouldn't be an issue if I wasn't so allergic. Best views of King's Landing slash Dubrovnik. You probably noticed you haven't seen much food. We have been doing most of our cooking at home because the restaurants here are very expensive. Believe it or not, considerably more expensive than Sicily. But to tell you the truth, I really enjoy cooking. Well, thank goodness, because you do it great. Now let's eat. Well, we have been alone in Dubrovnik for the last couple weeks. There've been almost no people. But there's a big festival and the streets are packed. We leave tomorrow. We didn't know that it was the biggest fest day of the year in Dubrovnik, so we're gonna miss that, unfortunately. And something else we put off to the last minute. We promised Louis and Sylvia we would get in the water. And thankfully, it's been stormy, but the sun's out right now, so we're gonna take the opportunity to get in here. Yep, we are good. <laughs> Sylvia, oh, this 
It's cold. Watch. <laughs> this. Throw these hands. This for you. Oh, okay. Oh, dunk your face. Come on, do it right. on the beach looking at us like we're insane. Probably because we're insane. <laughs> we have got to come back to Dubrovnik when it is warm because this water is beautiful, but it, 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 it's a bit too chilly to swim. <laughs> but surprisingly, I can see why people do this every day. It is very refreshing. Forget that. This is just a small percentage of the people that are here during summer in the high season. It's kind of cool to see some people though. <laughs> Got to admit, a little bit bummed we're going to miss the festival. I know. Oh, tip always check where the festivals are when you go someplace. <laughs> we never do. We usually just pop up and it works out right. This time it worked out wrong. We're leaving the morning of the biggest festival of the whole year. So I'm sure we'll. Suffer a little bit of FOMO, but we have to come back tonight. I saw some fried thingamajiggies over there. Oh, fried like, thingamajiggies! I know they look like donut holes. They have really set the town up beautifully too. We'll get a little bit of it on video, but oh. Fritule or twenty kuna. Thank you. I'm so glad I tried these. They're a little bit sweet. Fried dough. But they're very light and fluffy. Oh yeah, these are really good. <laughs> now it's back to our house to pack our bags. Dubrovnik was so amazing. But we're headed back to split in the morning. We're taking the same bus back as we did here. So unless something happens, we'll see you in split. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>